Nintendo is such a weird company. I mean, there's things that they do that are just so stupid, and then there's things that they do that are just so smart and awesome, and people love them for. For instance, Nintendo has been one of the only video game companies right now that are not having mass layoffs or anything like that, and Nintendo has never been a part of that, you know, and that's awesome, and people really love Nintendo for that, um, because they plan accordingly, and they do things a lot smarter and better than other companies do. Uh, but then Nintendo makes stupid decisions like, hey, Mother 3, not for the US. And I swear it just feels like sometimes they're just completely tone deaf. Like they know what fans have been asking for for years and they just do the complete opposite. And there's just some things that just continuously surprises me about Nintendo. And at this point, I don't even know if I'm ever gonna be surprised by some of the stuff that they do. Uh, but recently they did something that I just thought was pretty hilarious because it's just one big marketing scheme. Um, but yeah, they posted on Twitter because they're getting ready to celebrate Mario Day. Mario Day is coming up this Sunday and based on PR, on Twitter giving us some inside sources and inside scoops based on what we're going to get. Apparently we're going to get a new trailer for the Thousand Year Door and obviously Luigi's Mansion 2, which is great. But it looks like Nintendo is also preparing for some other festivities. For instance, Lego had tweeted some type of, you know, teaser that something's going to happen. You know, I don't think it's going to be a Lego game or anything like that, but, you know, maybe just a new Lego set. And it seems like Nintendo is happy to celebrate Mario once again, especially with next year being the 40th anniversary already. And that's, you know, for a completely different video. But Nintendo posted a video on Twitter showcasing some of Mario's past adventures, and they seem to be highlighting almost all of them at first, and then this happened. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. They literally show Mario 64 and jump straight to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. They just skip an entire era of Mario games, like, just like that. Like, no Mario Galaxy, no Mario Galaxy 2, no Mario Sunshine, no Mario 3D Land. They just like, you know, here we are now. And the reason? Because of this. Yeah, because they're not technically available on Switch right now. This is a big advertising trailer. So yeah, they want to celebrate the history of Mario, but they don't want to show off any games that you can't purchase right now. No, that'd be insane. Yeah, and you know why? Well, Mario 3D All-Stars is unable to be purchased. You can thankfully play Mario 64, at least, on Nintendo Switch Online, but you can't play the others. You can't play Sunshine anymore. Sunshine's just gone. You can't play Galaxy anymore. That's just gone. Galaxy 2 just never happened, and neither did Mario 3D Land, and they're just going to act like they never did happen. So yeah, obviously, this bothered me a little bit. I'm just like, the only reason reason Nintendo even wants to celebrate Mario Day, it feels like, just to, you know, get people to play and purchase more of their Mario games. And they're like, here, you can buy this on the eShop, or you can buy this physically, you can buy this digitally, this is a game that you can purchase, this is, but of course, they're not going to advertise games you can't buy. But maybe you forgot exactly what happened back in 2020, but Nintendo released a collection of 3D Mario games in a triple pack. It was Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. And this thing has been rumored for so long back then, and it finally happened, and everybody was so happy to get their hands on this game. Now, of course, it didn't do anything special to the games, and a lot of people were hoping for like a true remake of all these games or something changed, but no, it was the bare minimum. But we did get 64 Sunshine and Galaxy, but with a caveat, obviously, meaning that we could not purchase the game after about a year of it being on the market. And not even a year, just until the end of the fiscal year and the spring of the following year. Uh, so really just like six or seven months, we had a opportunity to purchase this thing, and then it would disappear forever from the store shelves, from digital, literally forever. And a lot of people, myself included, just thought there's no way Nintendo was actually going to do this. You know, there's going to be some other way that they, you know, have this game able to be purchased. Maybe physical goes away, but it'll always be able to be bought digital, right? No. No, it's just gone. As a huge fan of Super Mario Sunshine, I just thought it felt a little weird that we were getting, you know, a look back at Mario's past games, and they have Mario Land 2 there, but not Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 and Mario 3D Land. Let's be honest, I don't think Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy 1 necessarily need it because, you know, they are pretty popular games. I mean, Mario Sunshine has had tons of its characters return in multiple spinoffs. You know, PD Piranha, the Piantas, the Nokis. Yes, it's just been Mario Sunshine references in a lot of games, the sports, 
sports, Mario Kart, the whole lot. I feel like in some of their other games that are becoming the lost media. Yeah, I I'm sorry. Super Mario Galaxy 2 feels like a dream to this day. It feels like it never even really happened. No one talks about it. There's like no official artwork or really anything good to pull from from the internet. There's like no PNG renders of the characters. I'm like, it just feels like it's a dream. Like, it, like the game never happened. Nintendo never really talks about this game. They never show it off. They have never brought it back. And when they had a huge opportunity to do so on the Nintendo Switch, they just completely ignore the game as if it never existed, which is so weird to me because it's a sequel to one of the greatest Mario games of all time, which in my opinion, just takes everything about Super Mario Galaxy 1 and expands on it, making it even better. And I'm just so shocked that Mario Galaxy 2 is just becoming this thing that no one ever talks about. A lot of my friends act like they have never even heard of the game sometimes. They're just like, yeah, I never got around to playing that one. Uh, you know, maybe Nintendo, if they bring it to the Switch, I'll get around to playing it. And you know, you look up things online like trailers and gameplay and it's just so outdated. It just feels like there's not a lot on Mario Galaxy 2 out there. It's just sad. And I feel like the same issue with Mario Galaxy 2 is present with Mario 3D Land, where there's another game in the series that's just kind of overshadowing it. Where Mario Galaxy clearly overshadows Mario Galaxy 2 when it comes to people's memories, and Mario 3D World completely just took everything from Mario 3D Land and blew it out of the water. So I can kind of understand why people may not know or may not care about Mario 3D Land, but still, Mario 3D Land is definitely a different playing game than Mario 3D World. It focuses more on a single player, the camera is more zoomed in, and you have more unique aspects that you might not have in Mario 3D World. There's lots of segments where you're jumping and, you know, falling from the sky, and the camera is just set in such a good way. It I don't know, it just feels like the game was made for one player compared to a whole bunch of players where your platforming has to be precise. There's some challenge to some of these levels, and I like the level design to this one just as much as I do with Mario 3D World. But the problem is, this is a game that's stuck on the 3DS. It would have been a great way to just slap this thing on the Switch, you know, just barely up res the graphics and stuff from it being on a 3DS, and I think you'd be good to go, but it just stinks that Nintendo acts like this never happened. And it's a big deal, because it's the first 3D Mario game on a handheld device. That's huge. I also laughed out loud because they showed Mario Land 2, but not Mario Land 1, because Mario Land 1 is not on Nintendo Switch Online, and you can't do any purchases in order to play that, meaning buy the online subscription or anything, which is just hilarious. For one, why in the world is Mario Land 1 still not on Switch Online after Game Boy dropped a year ago? Like, what? I know a lot of people would probably say, listen, they just don't want to show every single Mario game it'd be too much. No. No, no, it wouldn't. I mean, there's only like a handful left, and they gave each Mario game a like five to ten second segment, so it really wouldn't have changed that much. It's just because you simply can't purchase these games. Yes, there's other games like you know the other new Super Mario Brothers games with DS, Wii, and even New Super Mario Brothers 2, and it's just hilarious because once again, you can't purchase those games. Those games aren't able to be purchased on the Switch, so yeah, they're just gonna forget they ever existed. And I can completely understand those compared to the others because at least it's just like okay, you got New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe that probably is good enough. But look, I am thankful and grateful that there are so many Mario games that we can play on Switch. I mean, we just got Mario vs. Donkey Kong Remade, of all games. I think like some of the few games that we're missing is like Mario Pinball Land, and, and then I think we're like good. So yeah, we're getting so much, even Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Well, trust me, I, I'm not complaining. Nintendo definitely did not forget about Mario, uh, but at the same time, I feel like it was just kind of scummy to say, hey, we're celebrating Mario Day, but in reality, we're, we're just pretty much advertising because we're showing games that you can only purchase. We're not gonna, you know, represent or even celebrate Mario and his other past adventures like Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy 2, 3D Land, even Mario Land 1, it's just kind of weird. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Do you think this is strange? Do you just not care? I mean, there's a good chance you don't care, but I just thought I'd bring it up. But let me know down below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.